Welcome to this look at a new mod map on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. I'm here on the Agres Balconies. This is a new mod map out by JM Gaming. It came out Friday. It's been a busy weekend with mods and maps. 527.12 megabytes to download. This map is set in the southeast of Spain, a stone's throw away from the Mediterranean with um, Alicante and Benidorm just to the southeast of where we are now. So if you're looking for a good night out, head into Benidorm. Anyway, the map looks like this. Spanish map, we've got a load of olive orchards, we've got a load of grape vines, um, we've got some additional uh, like crop types but fruit types have been added in with greenhouses and exotic orchards. So we've got some oranges, lemons, peppers, yellow melon, mango, pomegranates and papaya have been put in as well. Field prices, well new farmer we start with Plot 101, which is sort of the main farm area, and then these fields up the top here. So we've got some grape vines and we've got some regular fields. Field prices do vary, as, as on most maps they do. 400, I mean, they're quite pricey, I'll be honest. Um, they 750 grand for that one, which is weird. That's, let's have a look. I suppose because it's got grape vines on it already. So compared to the field next to it, which is just a regular field, 178 grand, 751. It's a, it's an orchard, it's a grape uh, vineyard ready to go. Um, whereas I guess you could buy one next to it and then put your own in, but that's what that's kind of already there and established. So yeah, it does vary. We've also got some interesting plots as we go around. A lot of arid plots where the ground's very dry, people have given up on the land and left it. Uh, there's some really nice sort of, sort of cracked textures and stuff to that. Forestry to the south, we're just going to whiz down. I'm going to do the first couple of bits on foot, but I will jump because it's going to take a little while. Because we've got a sale point here, we've got the livestock market, and then we've got most of the stuff up to the north. Um, so we'll, ju we'll jump up, we'll have a look, we'll get to the vehicle shop, we're going to lease a vehicle, and then we'll kind of get around the rest. Um, but it's an interesting one, and I'll be honest, having a quick sort of scout around, when you get to this portion of the map here, the southeast, this is really, really hilly. That's, that's a real interesting section of the map. It's sweeping and undulating across the map. And for some reason, when I looked on the map, I had this weird feeling that it was going to be sort of low-lying land here sweeping uphill, but it's not. It's all you know, it's just undulating, as you'll see as we go across the map. Um, contracts are available on this map. There are no, There's no biogas plant on the map. We start here in the town itself, where you can come in and mingle with the locals. There's no cell points directly in the town, but like I said, I'm going to head south. There's lots of little narrow alleyways, there's loads and loads and loads of people on here. It doesn't say about collectibles, actually I'll double check that, I don't think there's any collectibles. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, oh yeah, 0 over 20. Oh, of course there are. That's what I was going to say. Treasure chests. I haven't found one yet. Um, the treasure chest, it refers to as... What is it? Um, you can celebrate local fe the local festival by searching for Moros y Cristianos, which is um, Moors and Christians. So there's treasure chests. I know it wasn't regular um, collectible. So if we go through the alleyway here... Up the avenues and alleyways. Anyway. So to the south is where you'll find a fair bit of forestry. And again, this is quite sweeping. So I would say the south of the map is the hillier of everything. There's a few rivers that run across and there are bridges at select points. And as you can see, the tracks are quite bumpy as well. So it's not going to be straightforward and easy, which is nice. It's good to have a map with a bit of a challenge. So yeah, forestry, as you can see, hilly is not the word. There's the town. So I'm going to just sweep round to the side of the town. There's the first cell point we're going to come to, which is Agres, and that's um, just a regular cell point. Um, there's a cell point, and then there's one for the production chains, pallets, and stuff like that. Which should be just around the side here. We'll talk about slot count and um, build mode and stuff like that when we get to the main farm area. Try to run over. That would be great. So just out the side of the town here, to the west, we've got Agres. Now there's also recycling on here, which is interesting. I'll, see, I'll show you here what I mean about the, the, the ground texture. Has this one got some of the cracked ground texture? 
it's kind of arid and dry and the fields have been left there's no crops in it but you can buy them up and then kind of repurpose it all and make the land make the land whole again you know so in the middle of here we've got the cell point we can't get into that building i did check the doors so cell point there and then the production chains pallets bit because this is their products and pallets just here very busy market and then we're going to head out so i'm going to head over towards the livestock market but i want to show you I mean, the thing as well the vineyards and stuff if you want to i haven't i mean i've done vineyards a little bit olives i haven't really tackled in all honesty and a couple of maps i've done it on um i've started off and then i finished the let's play and haven't actually harvested them um this, this would be a real i mean I would say well, you'd want to do this multiplayer. The size of the vineyards and stuff, the amount of harvesting you would need to do is absolutely crazy. But if we whiz through the vineyard here, you can just see off to the right, um, there's a plot. Now, there, that one's fenced in, but there's a plot I found just up there as well, which is, again, another one of these kind of open, arid fields. It's got oil drums and mattresses and all sorts of stuff kind of dumped on it. We're just going to skip through the river here. We'll jump the river, I promise. There we go. So this plot here is like an old landfill site. Prohibited. But there is a recycling centre, which we can go to. I'll show you that later on. So you can come and collect this stuff. Now there are cars here as well, which I'm assuming you pick up with forklifts and stuff like that. They're too heavy to pick up by hand. But again, we've got oil drums, tyres, planks, boxes, anything with the recycling logo on. You can take... Stick onto the back of a trailer. You can take to the recycling centre. And recycle. Like I say, even the cars have got it on here. It's kind of old Trabant sort of thing. Um, but that's too heavy to lift. So, yeah, I guess with various different straps and pallet forks and things like that, you could do that. So I'm going to head out now from here. So let's go back to the map. We started off here, went to the forested area, went around the side to there. We've come across the vineyard. We're at this little point here. I'm just going to whiz down there to the livestock market. From the livestock market, we're going to whiz up there to the vehicle store, and then we'll um, we'll head on around from there. So I'll see you over at the livestock market. Moment, oh, that's something I want to point out. We've got cactus, look, with prickly pears. Uh, there's other sorts of, um, well, cacti um, dotted around as well. Again, which it just kind of adds to that immersion on the map, really. Right, coming up on the livestock market then. Just tucked away here. It's a bit of a drive from anywhere else, and it's kind of spread things out on the map. So if you are going to do livestock, you don't start with any animal pens on the map at all. Uh, there are a few plots. I think it says three. There's three or four plots around the map which are really flat. I think uh, one of them was... There's one there. Um, so if you want to set up a farm somewhere else i think there's one over here as well um but then this you know it is a quite hilly map but there are some plots and areas where if you want to put other production chains in i'm going to talk about the production chains later on because there's something that might be quite relevant with that if you look at the top of the map you might kind of get an understanding as to why but um we'll see but livestock market is just here and then we're going to whiz down uh, two, I think it's just over there, isn't it? The vehicle shop. It does also mention, if we look up, uh, I don't know if you can see one way over there. There's eagles soaring around in the heights. It does mention insects. I haven't come across any bits of insects yet. I was wondering if it'd be like the sounds of like cicadas and you know that kind of thing, but I haven't heard anything different to the sort of standard in-game sounds. But yeah, that's cool. Coming up on the vehicle store then, olive groves to our right, and there's we've got water points, if I'd show you on the map, just there, you've got a little water droplet, there's a few of those little water towers, but again, there's plenty of mods, you can put extra water points in, but there are water points on the map, one thing I will say with the water points, those little um, towers, they're very slow to refill, um, so whatever tanker you're going to be using, they do take a little bit of time, I'm not going to lie. We've got a John Deere dealership here, this is also the reset points, so if you need to reset any vehicles, you can reset them back here. So just inside the building here, we've got our trigger, just there, and then we've got over here, our workshop trigger. I'm just going to grab, uh, it doesn't matter what I grab actually, let's just grab something. 
Just grabbed a little retriever and we can head on. So the point we're heading to now is um, Wolf's uh, Ravine Market, I think it's Wolf's Ravine Market. And that's where a lot of the greenhouses are. So we've got greenhouses and we've got exotic orchards. When I get there, I'm going to talk about the build mode, actually, because that's probably a good time to talk about it. So that's one of the water points just there. We're going to cut through and uh, through the crops because there's a, a river running across and we need to go across a bridge. So apologies for going through the crops. See what I mean? Oh, there we go. Look. That kind of cracked, arid ground texture. That is available under textures in the build mode, which I'll show you in a moment. Let's go through the crop here. You can see all the greenhouses. So the greenhouses will do strawberry, tomato and lettuce, but they also do, what was it here, lemon and, I think it was lemons and chilies, was it? We'll double check. That's fine. So, coming to this side and I'll show you on the map. The greenhouses. Now these are large greenhouses. We go to build mode. I'll show you what's in, under build mode. Uh, there wasn't anything under sheds. Under farmhouses, we've got the swimming pool house, which we do start with. On New Farmer, uh, we do start with a sleep trigger. Another two game modes we don't, but again, I'll talk about that when we get to the farm. Uh, there was nothing under silos, which is interesting because we do start with a silo, um, but it's not available to replace production. We have got two extra productions in here we've got oil mill and soap factory so you can make we can make soap and then we've got the great processing unit but this one does grape seed oil as well so they're extra productions cell points there's nothing greenhouses so greenhouses here so yeah we can do tomatoes lettuce and strawberry uh, chili peppers and i'm sure it was lemons was, now this is the other bit as well we'll get to it when we get to the exotic orchards later on but the exotic orchards that are on the map you can sell them i'm going to show you one in a moment but if you do sell them they're not in here to replace so just be aware that if you do get rid of any you can't place new ones elsewhere if you want to because under orchards we've only got the standard in-game grapevine and olive grove so yeah the exotic orchards aren't they're just not there there's nothing under animals uh, decoration there wasn't anything under landscaping under painting we've got some nice extra textures here like concrete cobbles some nice ground textures the cracked earth that we were just talking about so there's some nice extra textures in there and there was nothing under trees and plants because i did wonder whether the uh, exotic orchards might be under there but they're not so that's something to bear in mind so that's where you'll find the large greenhouses you go in here they do require water but only water now as you can see We've got crops going in here already. As soon as you buy it, 10,000 for each one, it withers. But if we click on that, you'll see tomatoes, lettuce, strawberry, sorry, not yet, lemons, yellow melon and chilli peppers in here. So if you then put your water in and it all starts growing, if you grow the yellow melon and chilli peppers, it's like I've already prepared this, the pallets will look like this. Very cool. Uh, now, the other thing to be aware of is the land here. Um, so we're here at the moment. This one, we have got uh, six greenhouses on. This little plot here, 182. That one's got eight on. And then the sell point I was just talking about, Wolf's Ravine Market, is just there. So you can buy the land, but as you can see, you buy the greenhouses individually as well. So you can sell them once you've purchased them, as I've just bought that one there. We go to demolish. If you want to remove some, if you don't want as many or you want to use the plot for something else, once you've purchased them, you can sell them. But then if you want to use the land, you're going to have to buy the land separately. So you don't have to buy the land to use the greenhouses, but if you want to buy the land as well, you can, which could give you the ability then to remove some, put them elsewhere, it's in type of shoe. So as you can see, you can remove them. What we will do is go from here, just show you the market. The sell points on here, have pretty much got the same layout. They've got a sell point and they've got a point for production chains and pallets. So production chains and pallets is just there. Sell point is just there. If we come out of here, and run around the side of here, we come to the first of the exotic orchards. These only require water as well. So 
So each one of these is a plot with exotic orchards. So each one looks like this. Water goes in here. These you also purchase for 10,000. When you purchase them, the plants... Oh, that's weird. Right, because I've turned those off. Once you turn them on, the plants will appear again. If you turn those off, the plants will disappear. Like that. Now, like I said, you can, if I go into demolish, I can click on that. Now, I've just spent 10 grand buying it. If you sell them, you sell them for zero. You don't sell them for half the price. So I can get rid of that exotic orchard, but like I said, they're not available in the build mode to replace. So if you do sell too many or you sell one, I think, oh, I didn't want to do that, you can't put it back. So just be aware of that. Um, but as I said, I'll just go back into there. Orange lemon papaya pomegranate and mango so i've got some more pictures to show you if you get these running and you get the palettes of them the orange and lemon palettes will look like this the papaya and mango palettes will look like this and the pomegranate palette palette will look like this so that's your palettes that's your orchards now as we move further north up to the main farm, which is where we're going to head now. We're going to head out to that track and we head up to the main farm. There's another water point there. Um, all of these are exotic orchards. All of these are exotic orchards. And like I say, each of these plots we can buy separately. Uh, that's weird. Have I bought one? Or did I just click on that? There we go. Um, and the same up here. The exotic orchards. The greenhouses are clustered here. The exotic orchards are dotted around, and there are quite a lot of them. It's probably not bad, I did talk about it now. My only concern with this is, having played on Western Wilds, and I had so many production chains on there, I went to place a production chain for something, it told me that I'd reached the limit. Now, bearing in mind, each one of these is a production chain in its own right. If you want to add more production chains onto this map at any point, you may get hit that limit. So you may reach a point where you're going to need to sell some of these plots, and possibly some of the greenhouses if you want to put others in. It's just a word of warning, just to kind of be aware of. You may need to do that. It's an option. Um, you may just put production chains in and never hit the limit, in which case, fantastic. But if you do hit the limit, you just might need to come in. And if, if you know you've got a load running and you're not going to buy any more of them, it wouldn't hurt to just go around, buy a few of them. So I know it's going to mean you'll lose a bit of money. Um, you might have to just put some extra in for, you know, just for that purpose um, buying them at 10 grand a pop and selling them for zero is not a particularly profitable way to go about things but it might help if you put another production chains in so more olive groves to our side and we come to the main farm area like I said another water point to the side there we do have these two sheds we do have the house just there and we do have a silo. That silo is a 500,000 litre. It says old silo, 500k. That is a multi-fruit silo. It will take pretty much everything in that silo there. And our start equipment is just here. Here's another one of the plants I was talking about. Look. That's a big old cactus, that one. Uh, this, this has water in it. That does already have some um, olives in it. 10,000 litres of olives. We've got a flatbed trailer for all the pallet work, if we're going to do uh, pallet work. There we go, we've got our olive harvester. Now, if you're going to do grapes, you're going to need to get the grape one. We've got our mulcher, little skid still loaded, just up there about the various different crop types. There you go. New production soap, that does require water. Olive oil, sodium hydroxide, which we're going to get to later on. Grape uh, factory, we'll do grape seed oil, that's extra. And then just water for the ones we've already looked at in the greenhouses and the exotic orchards. Little fertiliser and herbicide sprayer, a couple of Landini tractors, a small one for doing the vineyard work, and a slightly large one for maybe a bit of hauling and stuff. Then we've got a class small wheel loader with forks as well. Sleep trigger is just around the side of this building. Now, as I've already shown you, we've got a pickup as well. Um, as I've already shown you, this um, is available under farmhouses. There you go. Didn't find a wardrobe trigger actually, but um, if you come onto your own. New Farmer, which I'm on, is 1,125 slots. If you come onto your Farm Manager and start from scratch, if I come to here, turn around and point roughly in that direction, 
uh, about there, I guess. That's probably about right. Uh, if you go into your farm manager or start from scratch, that comes down to 955. You don't start with any of the vehicles and machinery. You don't start with the sleep trigger, and it will look like this. But also bear in mind that because you've got all of those exotic orchards and all of those greenhouses, they are technically hidden slots. So if you wanted to go around and if you want to get that slot count down even lower, you could sell some of those off and the slot count will come down a bit more. But to be fair, 955 isn't too bad to get going with off the start. I just keep thinking back to when we had, like, was it 1,200 to 1,299 slots? If you had a map that started at nearly 1,000, you were struggling then to know what you were going to do. Um, it's amazing how things have changed like that, isn't it? So anyway, main farm area, silo, a few bits of equipment to start us off with. I'm going to carry on the Mahindra, might as well. We're going to head east first. We've got a couple of points to go and look at out over here. So this is the land that we own off the start. Like I said, we've got um, do have some olive, uh, olive orchard, I guess, and some regular crop ground as well and there's a nice mixture of it on the map it's not all vineyards and olive groves there is a nice mixture of um, farmland itself as well cross over the river here we come up into which is realistically the recycling center we've got a debris crusher just there and then this is the recycling point. So if you have gone round and collected any of those bits up, the oil drums and mattresses and planks and stuff like that, there you go. Bring it to this container, click on that, and you can sell them. We've got a gas station point just over here. What we're going to do now is so back across heading east, where there's going to be a load more of the... Uh, exotic orchards but we've also got some more sell points and the two production chains now the two production chains which are new on here on new farmer which i'm on you you own off the start um on new farmer on farm management start from scratch you don't own them off the start uh, so again it's something to be aware of um i mean you might want to play on the other game modes and then buy them it's a type two but on new farmer you do own them off the start so we'll cross over the second river and keep going as we move into exotic orchard territory and there are absolutely loads you can see all the little blue discs off in the distance we can see them all over there off to the right and we go back to the map look at them all it's absolutely crazy up here there are so many of them and if, if you think if you, you have each one running a separate fruit type or you can have each section i suppose thinking about how many there are you can have one with papaya, one with lemons, one with oranges, one, you know, so you can have separate sort of grove sections for it. And I'm just thinking the amount of, it's fairly slow. I did run them to get those pictures of the pallets. I did run them through and it took quite a while for the exotic fruits. The greenhouses were a little bit quicker. Um, so yeah, that's again, something to be aware of. It does take a while, but then if you've got loads of them running, it's not too bad. So if we turn in here, we'll come to the, uh, production chains so great processing unit it's just here like I say new farmer we already start with it we already own it now when you start with it and own it um, there's already grapes in here as you can see 60,000 litres if we go up to the managed production point we're on here and over to the right we've already got 60,000 litres so it already gives you some so you can start running straight away uh, raisins and grape juice is pretty standard but then the grapeseed oil for 90 grapes in you'll get 60 of grape juice so you're still going to be making grape juice anyway with grapeseed oil as a byproduct that comes out extra on top of that which is great um, did I do one of those I think I might have done one of those so the grapeseed oil palette oh did I forget I might have done if I did it'll pop up now if I didn't it won't <laughs> so uh, next sell point just have it actually I need to carry on in the Mahindra because we've got to go a bit further as well so sell point in the middle of here is uh, Quinion's Market so Quinion's Market again sell point and over the back there there's the trigger for pallets and stuff by the little market stalls and then we've got our oil mill and soap factory so again on New Farmer we own it already and there are already products in here so across the side we've got some olives we've got some water and we've got some sodium hydroxide in here so we can do our sunflower oil canola oil and olive oil as usual um 
And if we're gonna do soap, it does require olive oil anyway. So olive oil, water, and the sodium hydroxide, and then we get soap. I had, did take a picture of the soap palettes, which I'll show you in just a moment. But if we come out of here and go to, uh, what was it under? I think it was palettes. So under pallets out in the end, you've got drums of sodium hydroxide. You can't produce that. I don't think there's a mod on console that you can have that produces, I'm trying to think now. I don't think there is, but anyway, you can buy it. So you can buy drums of it um, to run that, to produce soap if you want to produce soap. So that's where you find it under pallets and the uh, soap boxes. Pallets will look like this. Continuing on then. I think we've only got one sale point left to look at. Uh, and that's uh, Muleteer's Market, I think it is. We're going to go up past a few more of the exotic orchards. Following the road, I think. I'm trying to remember now. So. It's definitely more sweeping terrain this end of the map to the north. The south is definitely more, um, it's trickier terrain, let's just say that. So, Muleteer's Market. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong, I do apologise. It's just here with the regular cell point there and your pallet point just over there. Very busy market, as you can see. So, the map. We did all this bit here. We walked across to there. We walked across there to the vehicle store. We grabbed the uh, Mahindra. We drove across there, took in the greenhouses and the first of the exotic orchards and the cell point there. We came up to the main farm. Then we went out across here to the recycling center, debris crusher. We drove all the way back across there, went past some of the orchards and the two production chains in here. And we've come all the way out here and we're at Muleteer's Market with more exotic orchards out to the side. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I'm just gonna jump in the uh, the vehicle. When I said about um, placeables points, I'm sure this was one of them. Just to the south of here. So if you want to set up another farm or more production chains or... Whoa! That did not like that. We've got one just up here. And that's the map. That's uh, the Agdes Balconies by JM Gaming. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, as always, thanks for watching.